guys, it's me Carol. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I have a super exciting video because I'm doing another installment in a little series here on my channel where I read celebrities favorite books and I'm so so excited because the celebrity we're going to be reading like is Meghan Markle. Most people know her for being an actress and for marrying into the royal family and currently she's really being talked about because she did an interview with Oprah and everyone went crazy and I decided to read like her she seems like such a nice person she's so beautiful so smart I love watching her interviews she's amazing and I can't wait to feel connected to her so if you don't know that how the series works is I'll basically choose three books she has recommended read them get back to you guys with my thoughts and tell you guys if I like it or not and what we can tell from her reading taste and the first book we're going to be reading for this video was mentioned in an article that I'll link in the description box down below as usual and this is what she had to say about it and the book is The Little Prince by Antoni de Saint. I said this so wrong. Exupery. I don't know how to speak French. I'm so sorry. But yeah, this is the first book we're going to get into. I've heard amazing things about this book and I feel like it's a sin that I haven't read this yet. So I can't wait to get to this one. And it's also really quick, but I think it has beautiful quotes and it teaches us a lot. And I'll take you guys along with me and we'll see how this goes. Okay, hello everyone. I just finished reading The Little Prince. I removed the dust jacket. That's why it looks like this, but oh my god, I loved it. I think everyone knows what The Little Prince is about, but if you don't, it follows the story of this little boy who comes from another planet, and it's just his view of the world, and it has just such beautiful quotes. This book had a plot that I did not see coming, and I think because I just heard a lot of people talk about it, I didn't expect that this would be the plot, but it didn't disappoint me, but I really enjoyed his story, and it's so sweet, so kind, but it talks about such important topics as well and it just made me so happy to see this in her list it was like oh I loved it so much I'm gonna give it five stars and I couldn't recommend this book more if you haven't picked it up please do and I think it's so interesting that she has this on her favorites list and I can definitely see why it's a book that will forever be with me and I'll think about it forever like the lessons they taught me will stay here with me so i just loved it so so much and i had a great time reading it it was such a short book but it was so good and it said everything you needed to say it was a little small book so wow i loved it i loved it i loved it i loved it <laughs> so yeah now we're gonna go and read the second book and i'll update you guys soon with which book i pick and yeah well hello i'm back and today we're going to be reading the second book for this video well that makes four but the second one to be honest with you guys this is the book i'm least excited for it's just i don't know it sounds a little weird i hope it's gonna be good though i really want to like it because so far her taste has been immaculate so we'll see so she talked about this book in an article that i'll link obviously in the description box and this is all she had to say about it and the book is the four agreements by Don miguel ruiz and oh that's it uh, this is a guide to personal freedom. It's a wisdom book. The cover is absolutely beautiful, but I'm just kind of, no, I don't want to say skeptical because I really do believe it literally anything. I just don't know if this is going to be like enjoyable for me. It is really short, only 140 pages. So hopefully it'll tell me everything I need to know about wisdom and then I'll be done with it. You feel me? So without further ado, let's read. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back everyone and I just finished reading The Four Agreements and I really enjoyed it. My only problem is, but this is a really personal opinion, for me all self-help books read like self-help books. Like 
to me they're all the same <laughs> this one was a little bit different like it talked in a very specific and unique way but in the end they're all talking about the same things and I have a hard time changing my life just by reading words that say love yourself and words mean a lot so don't be mean and that just doesn't really help me personally become a better person I can see the appeal I can see why it's someone's favorite because it really is beautiful and it really has some beautiful messages but for me personally uh, I just don't think it adds that much to me like it's a book that I think I'll close and then I'll never think of ever again and I'll I, I don't think I'm gonna add these agreements into my life not because I don't want to it's just because it's hard to do that just by reading a book you know even though I like to read self-help books they usually don't help me so it was just more for entertainment and I like that it was short and it talked about everything you needed to hear it was pretty concise straight to the point which was great I think self-help books have this kind of like magic thought that oh just by reading this you can become better and I think it's like no that's not how it works and I don't know if it's just me but I Think it can actually really hurt some people to go into this book hoping you're gonna be a different person by the end of it and then you finish and you're like oh no i'm still me <laughs> but i don't know i really enjoyed it in the end i think i'm gonna go give it a three four four stars let's go with four four stars because i can see the appeal it's just not my favorite thing to read about but it was good for what it was you know you feel me <laughs> and the artwork was beautiful there was a lot of research done to this book so i'm not complaining it was interesting i just don't think it's my favorite thing to read about i i liked it i would recommend it to you if you like self-help books i think this is a great one but if you're not into self-help books i would skip this one but yeah you guys this was the second book and tomorrow we're gonna be reading one of her favorite books of all time and i can't wait to get to it so yeah i'll see you all soon bye so today we're going to be reading the third book and the last book sadly of Meghan Markle's favorites and this book was again mentioned in an article did you see that coming and <laughs> this is what she had to say about it the book is a dead avocado and apparently she read it so many times that her copy is really worn out and I can't wait to read it I have it right here with me so I'm gonna read the back because I have no idea what this book is about it says it follows the romantic and comedic adventures of a young American who heads overseas to conquer Paris, love Paris, love that, in the late 1950s. But it was Lane Dundee Sally J. Gores who told us what she really was. Are you kidding? What she really was thinking. Charming, sexy, and hilarious. The Dud Avocado gained instant cult status when it was first published and it remains a timeless portrait of a woman hell-bent on living. That sounds amazing! We love powerful females. I'm gonna read this and I'll talk to you guys soon when I have an update or when I finished it. back and I finished reading The Dead Avocado by Elaine Dundee. The story follows Sally who's an American who lives in Paris and it's just her journey finding these people, falling in love, her dreams to become an actress and just trusting people. It is a very interesting but sad story and I had a great time reading it. It was so intriguing and it kept me hooked all the way through. I couldn't wait to see what was going to happen next. It was a bit tiring for me to get through. I think mainly because I read this in one sitting. I feel like this book is better to read in chunks so that you can get more out of this story. It's different from what I usually read because it reminded me of J.A. Salinger where you go into the story not knowing what was going to happen. So in the end, I'm going to give this four stars because I had a really great time reading it, but I was a bit confused at times. I think that's mainly my fault, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was interesting and I do recommend it. I would want to reread this maybe one day to get more out of it, but I, I, I really had a great time and this fits exactly to what I was thinking of her reading taste, which is just great. Yeah, in the end, really like the Dead Avocado. Recommend it to you if you want to read about 
a woman's story living in Paris and finding out what being alive really is. I love the setting too. The ambiance made me feel like I was in Paris. It was so great. I love Paris, one of my favorite places of all time. So I just, ah, I felt connected. It was great. I loved it. I loved it. Well, let's now talk about my overall thoughts on Meghan Markle's reading taste, why I think she reads, what books mean to her. You know the drill. The Little Prince and the Four Agreements both give advice on how to live a better life. And The Dead Avocado, it's a story about finding your worth. So I think it's really interesting that she reads these books and that these are her favorites. I can definitely see her reading these and adapting all of these things into her life and trying her best to live a very calm and important life to her. Sometimes I read to escape reality. I think she reads this for the opposite. She reads to make her reality better, which is so interesting and it's so fun. Like, I wish I could do that. And I really had a great time with her reading taste. She's so powerful and her reading taste is amazing. So I had a great time with this video. It was really interesting and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Let me know down below which celebrity I should do next for my reading celebrities favorite books series here on my channel. I'm trying to do one video like this every single week. So hopefully I'll get to your suggestions very, very soon. But yeah, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to be part of this wonderful family. I would love to have you here. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <music>